ladies and gentlemen. You caught me on the hop here. Uh, well, sorry. Uh, I just have one or two announcements tonight uh, before we begin. Uh, first of all, some of you may have heard that we had a little trouble with the tea urns and uh, that somebody, uh, there was a little calamity with them, that there was somebody who misbehaved themselves in the tea urns. But I assure you, the tea urns have been cleaned out. We have, we have cleaned them with Dettol today, and the tea urns are perfectly clear. The water is good. I can attest to that because I passed it myself. <laughs> yes. Also, I'd like to draw your attention to a change in the program. The part of Inspector O'Reilly will not be played by Sylvia Frobisher. As you know, um, Sylvia's not that quick on her feet. And that floodlight really did touch her a heck of a hit on the head. But I spoke with her this morning, and apparently that Sylvia is able to form Simses again. So, but she couldn't be in the play. But uh, we think that maybe uh, she'll be able to uh, come to the dinner dance this evening. And all. Now, another thing I need to make you aware of program out here is that stepping uh, in the breach tonight as stage manager will be Gordon Q. Okay. I know that we're going to have to be behind him tonight because he hasn't acted since he played the second ox in the Star of Bethlehem. <laughs> and uh, finally, those of you who were, who were at this year's AGM Awards, well, know that we had to cancel, put my specs on here, my eyesight's getting to me there, ah, much better there, um, let's see, where was I now, oh yeah, so those of you with the AGM awards know that we had to cancel the traditional screening of Mrs. Beasley holiday uh, movies due to the controversy surrounding the election of, or the selection of Miss Farndale. <laughs> yeah, so. Okay. Well, that's an incident that I won't elaborate on because we don't want to open up any old sores. <laughs> Suffice it to say that the title went eventually to Thelma Greenwood, our perennial leading lady. diligence in demanding 14 recounts. <laughs> she made sure that she was the winner. <laughs> yes, I don't know about her. Even if uh, it did mean missing the movie, Mrs. Beasley has brought it in as a specialty at great cost, and she doesn't get much out of life. It's uh, not that she's a well woman anymore, you know. We're pushing against time, Phoebe. Here, now let's roll and hurry it up. Come on. Really? Yes, let's go. She's not well at all. <laughs> Although I'm uh, sure that you'll all be pleased to hear the cartilage operation was a success. And well, now we're going to enjoy uh, going to see Mrs. Beasley's latest production. In Super Beasley Vision, Hello, Isle of Man. Uh, all right, Thelma. Are you ready? Oh, there we go. Uh, the first thing you'll see is a shot of Douglas taken in early morning sunlight from the ferry. These people in oil skins are a couple of the Beasleys met on board and the lady is a member of the Storbridge Township Women's Guild. Isn't that just a coincidence? <laughs> I think it could do a little shift to the starboard side here. No, the starboard side here. Yes, yes. Oh, that's the harbor. Oh, that's the harbor <laughs> just flashing past there. Oh, back to where you were, dear. Back to where you were. Oh, okay. Well, that's perfect there. Now, I think this is, yes, the House of Keys. No, it's the Beasley Hotel. And there's Mrs. Beasley's husband pointing up at their suite. Can you see him? Oh, has he lost weight? Oh, he's quite a super slimmer, isn't he? <laughs> okay, where are we now? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, 
I think that's an oil refinery at Root Point. Seen through fog, probably. The weather is so unpredictable over there, isn't it? Oh, yes, I was over there a few years ago for their Jubilee or whatever it was, and um, one just never knew what the weather was going to be. Oh, and there's a Max cat. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> but there are scratches on Mr. Beasley's leg. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Oh, yes, well, uh, was that meant to happen? Uh, does anybody have any solo tape? <laughs> solo tape? Oh, my. Evidently not. You know, ladies and gentlemen, this may sound foolish, but sometimes I think our productions are a little jinxed. Yes, I do mean I've been out and about, and I've been to the old Vic and to the Stafford Avion, and nothing seems to go right with their, wrong with their shows. Of course, but uh, they're not as adventurous as, they, as we are, are they? So, I suppose we can't have everything. Uh, any joy with that cello tape, people? Anybody cello tape? Anybody? Hmm. Well, I'm afraid that we may have to draw a veil over this debacle, but we saw most of the good bit, so let's get on with our little play. And do concentrate like mad this evening, won't you? Because we're going to have a little uh, competition later on to see how eagle-eyed everyone has been. <laughs> yes. Henry says, will chewing gum do? Oh, no, we're not bothering, dear. Is, is everybody ready back there? Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> see you later. I don't want to close my eyes. I don't want to fall asleep because I miss you, baby. And I don't want to miss a thing. Even when I dream of you, sweetest dreams. Wait, have we started? Yes. Oh. calling at my sister Doreen's remote country house by the sea. Oh, I guess I'd better find out who that is. Oh, if only I could find the light switch so that I could illuminate my way down the stairs. Oh, here it is. <laughs> They're supposed to be on now. No! I want them on one, two, three. What a terrible night. Oh, just look at all that snow. in the future. Well, if my sister Doreen found out about our deviously devised plot, 
Why, it would be the living end. Uh, don't you have anything to say for yourself back there? Uh, yes, look you back, doing? I can't reach you. <laughs> Do I hear a faint scuffling noise? Mm -hmm. A faint scuffling noise? Is there nothing we can do to solve this mystery? Shall I telephone, Shall I telephone for the police? Please don't worry. discuss the mother. What do I mean? Well, officer, I'll tell you. I'm telling you that there has been a murder out here. No! This is not a practical joke. There is a corpse out here and it smells fishy to me. Oh, what's that you say? <laughs> Inspector O'Reilly will make this case a priority. I'll inform her ladyship. Lady midshipmanship. Uh, the professor, no, Inspector O'Reilly will be here quick as a flash. Now, Inspector O'Reilly, isn't he the man that solved the Limehouse murders? Have Regine, the French maid, take the plastic covers off of the armchair and put an extra coat of liquid gumption on the wash basin in the guest cloakroom. I hasten to do your bidding, ma'am. Mm. Oh! Oh, I... Hold your horses. I thought I heard a faint scuffling noise. A faint scuffling noise? Oh, surely my ears do not deceive me. Certainly seems so. Yet, in 
seems there's some sixth sense that's telling me that we're not alone. Are you saying that someone's trying to put up the wind, my lady? It's only I, dear Pa. <gasps> we were becoming agitated by none other than my dear daughter, Daphne. The enchanting laugh. <laughs> Oh, let's bring him in. Ah. Oh. 
<clears throat> Lady Bishop. Ah, yes. Inspector O'Reilly, we've been expecting you, Inspector. <laughs> uh, come in and warm yourself by the fire. My, what a grand place. Ah, uh, yes. So welcoming. <laughs> yes. Uh, would you like a uh, sherry? Not yet. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, would you like for me to introduce you to my lovely daughter, Daphne? Uh, with the greatest of pleasure. Yeah. Oh, pleased to meet you, Inspector. And would you like a sherry? Oh, uh, well, uh, just a sousson. Yes. Oh, Reggie! A uh, sherry for our guest. Uh, oui, madame. Mm. Yes. Uh, I, uh, sorry we have to meet under these circumstances, uh, Lady Bishop. Yes, yes. Clarissa, she was too, too young. Mm. Thank you, darling. <sighs> and I suppose you want to inspect her, Inspector. Yes, I'm afraid it will be my hapless duty. Uh, However, I must first take some notes. Uh, <clears throat> what can you tell me about uh, your sister? Well, she was my sister. Yes. <laughs> yes. And she came here to checkmate manor for the reading of my late husband's will. Oh, yes. Well, might I say, my lady, that your late husband, Sir Reginald Bishop, he was a fine man. A, a fine man? Well, I suppose some would say so. But those that lived with him knew better. Well, be so good as to elaborate, please. Uh, oh, my father was no more than an animal inspector. Now, Mother, stop. Let me speak. Please don't interrupt me. You know how he would take the Brillo pads and use them on the Teflon pots and pans, and then he'd forget to walk on the newspapers after the floor was washed. Now, how did you tolerate such behavior? Look around you, Inspector. I have everything a woman could desire. Reggie might have been a pig, but at least he was well endowed. <laughs> <laughs> Another sherry. <laughs> No, <laughs> but might I compliment you on the um, rich red ruby nectar, that which I have in my hand. <laughs> the door won't open. <laughs> it's not a real door. Sugar? Uh, no, do you have the rich red ruby? Yes, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Hold it up to the light, Inspector. Oh, yeah! <laughs> See how! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> See how! See how! Pull yourselves together! Stop it! <laughs> See! <laughs> 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 See how the texture seems to emit a friendly glow. Oh, yes, it is, um, <gasps> it is divine. Oh, Inspector, do you have any more questions? Oh, oh, yes, uh, most certainly. Oh, oh.
Would you be interested in joining us, Inspector? Oh. Uh, yes, you are most kind, my lady. <laughs> Thank you. Well. Thelma, Daphne? Oh, it was nothing. Oh, oh, but what about that lemon souffle, which added a touch of sheer luxury to the bill of fare? Oh, it may have seemed ultra sophisticated, but it was really quick and easy to prepare. Well, now I must take note of this recipe. Well, let me see if I can remember it. Um, to feed four to six people, you need four yolks of eggs, five ounces of sugar, a half a pint of water, half an ounce of gelatin, and the grated rinds of two lemons. And then you take it all and put it in a basin, a large basin. Oh, um, a little wash basin. Oh, certainly <clears throat> not. You take the basin and you put it on a pot of hot water and you stir until thick and creamy. Then you add the juice of two lemons, take it off the hot water, continue whisking until it's thick. Then after that, you add a half a pint of double cream and the whipped egg whites, you turn it into a souffle, mm -hmm. and then you let it set. Mm -hmm. After that, you garnish it with whipped cream and nuts. Oh. Thanks, Daph. I'm sure the boys at the station will love to give this to their wives tonight. Oh, and what about you, Inspector? Will you be giving it to your wife tonight? And if I had one. Oh, but to tell the truth, I'm fancy free. Uh, what about yourself? Oh, I'm free as air. Although... What? Oh, uh, doesn't matter. But tell me! No. Why? It still hurts. What does? The pain. Of losing? Yes. Who? Randolph. Oh, Randolph! Uh, and you were... Yes, yes, we were. Oh, well, what happened? It doesn't matter. Tell me. No. Why? It still hurts. What, what does? The pain of losing. Right. The, the pain of losing still hurts. Yeah, Randolph. Yes, the pain of losing Randolph. And you were? Yes, yes we were. Well, what happened? It doesn't matter. Tell me. Uh, no. Why? It still hurts. <laughs> oh. I see. The pain of losing Randolph yes, still hurts. Yes, of losing hurts. Randolph still yes, hurts. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And, and you were? Yes, yes, we were. Oh, well, well what happened? It doesn't matter. Tell me. No. <laughs> Why? It still hurts. Here, Inspector, why don't you sit down and tell me about yourself now? Huh? I'm fancy free. Oh? Although. Tell me. No. Why? It still hurts. Excuse me, uh, uh Marshall, uh, yes. I have made up the bed for you in the spare room. Oh, well, thank you, Virginia. Daphne. I am glad you told me 
everything. Oh, so am I, Inspector. Good night. Yes, yes. <coughs> Inspector, Inspector, I have vital information for you about the killer of Mademoiselle Clarissa. Spit it out, girl. Oh. I cannot tell you now. Oh. Meet me here at midnight, and I tell you then. Mm. And if you need a little, say, bedtime reading, there is a interesting book, a trace book, behind you. <laughs> oh, bonjour, bonjour. Uh, Are you familiar with the late Clarissa Rook? Yes, I'm I'm Joan, uh, yes. Lady Bishop's cousin. Yes. 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 Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, I can see the resemblance, I suppose. It must have been last Christmas. When did you see each other last? Well, uh, I am an archaeologist, you know, so I have a dig at 6 a.m. and I must be going to bed now. <laughs> Well, you better be careful, young lady. Why, those ruins are unsafe now that the rain has loosened the bricks and cement of the overhanging parapets. Oh. Not now. <sighs> <laughs> it's all right, Inspector. Yes. Oh, I'll be just fine. All alone. Uh -huh. Up there. Miles from nowhere. Uh -huh. Good night. <laughs> Hercliff Abbey. Pawn, is that you? Pawn, is that you? Now? <laughs> Oh, oh, it is 
so hot in here. Oh, I opened the window. Oh. Oh. No, no, over here. Oh. Good morning. 
Was anyone up yet? Uh, uh, we were uh, just going to bed. Yeah, yeah we're just going to bed. Uh, uh, Oh, Pawn, how could I imagine that lifeless, ashen-faced body that was once a vivid mother and wife? <laughs> Pray lower your voice, please. There's someone coming downstairs, and we don't want to alarm them needlessly. <laughs> oh, good morning. Wonderful day for a day. Good morning, uh, Joan. <laughs> yes, I'm off to Highcliff Abbey to excavate it. So, have a lovely day. Blackout. sets me apart is my highly developed power of deduction. So, you mean to tell me you know who's been doing all these murders at Grand Old Checkmate Manor? Well, no, but I've got a couple of clues. <coughs> oh, crumbs, you must be brilliant. I'm Flamux. Oh, well, you've been too busy with your lipstick and other girlish things. But I'll be keeping my eyes open. For instance, uh, take a look at this book. That your devilishly attractive French maid, uh, Regine, uh, no offense, old girl, tried to um, attract my attention to earlier. You mean she was trying to tell you something? Yes, indeed. Um, and here's what. How to, uh, how to do something or other in nine moves. Um, but, uh, uh, and look at this chessboard. Every time a person dies, misty a piece is uh, mysteriously taken away. Uh, Clarissa Rook was strangled and a rook was removed. Uh, Gladys Knight was electrocuted oh, and... We didn't have her. What? No, we didn't have her. She was in the five pages that got cut out. <laughs> <laughs> so, if my deductions are correct, 
Nine chessmen will be appropriated before the murderer fulfills his um, grisly task. What? Huh? What? What's darling. the matter? Darling. What's the matter, darling? Oh, there's to be nine beneficiaries coming here tonight for the reading of Daddy's will. Oh. Well, judging from the fact that kings are the last pieces removed from the board, I believe I can confidently predict that King will be the name of the next two murderers' victims. Oh, that's horrible! Mother's brother-in-law, Colonel King, and his wife, Ruby, are due here any minute. <coughs> oh, that must be them now. <laughs> as I did just one moment ago, did your husband say they confirmed his worst suspicions? Well, exactly this, Inspector. Nine, nine of our family members were privy to a certain codicil, a startling the nature of this concept. Uh, uh, well, then we must ask him immediately. Yes, indeed. For here he comes now. Yes. Uh, Edgar. Yes. Edgar, your uh, husband. Yes. yes uh, I'm coming. It'll just be a moment. Uh, Edgar, my husband, the colonel. And mm -hmm. when yeah. he comes through that door, we, we, shall, we shall see him. We shall. Mm-hmm. 
Most importance. I'll get it. King here. Yes. Yes, this is King. Yes. Yes, things are according to, according to plan. No, no, I can't talk to you now. I'm not alone. What? What was that? Hello? Hello? It's gone dead. Get your things, Ruby. We must go back to town immediately. I'm afraid I must advise against that, sir. I cannot heed that advice. It's a matter of life or death. Pip, pip, Daff. We'll be back in time for the reading tonight of the will. Yes. <laughs> Time. 
So put your thinking caps on, and we're going to give away a prize, I think, aren't we? Um, let's see. Yes, I hope we will be. Um, I hope you still have those little slips that were inside your programs. Have you? Yep. There for your answers, you see. So, has everybody got theirs? So, come on, let's see them up in there. Everybody got theirs? Yep, everybody got theirs? <laughs> Oh yes, yeah, so let's let everybody have time to sit down here. Okay, you folks ready now? Oh yes, there's a, that's quite a, a good turnout everybody's got there. So here we go. There's going to be three questions and each one has got a choice of three answers. A, B, or C. So all you have to do is just to uh, put a ring around the correct answer. Alright, is everybody ready? Okay. Here's the first question, and I think you ladies are going to make light of this work because uh, I think this is right down your alley. Um, the first question is, how many eggs were used in the recipe for the lemon souffle? Everybody remember that? Was it two, four, or ten? A, B, or C? Were you paying attention? I oh, look, I see a lot of you people that are shaking their heads like you don't know, you don't remember. Well, you got to pay attention. I told you that on the start. And gentlemen, I know that wasn't one for you, but I've got one coming up for you, from, for you gentlemen now. So uh, this one's going to be for you gentlemen next. I want you to describe the butler's tool. Okay. He had it in his hand. Do you remember that when he had it in his hand? Wasn't very funny, was it? But anyway. Uh -huh. Yeah, you think so? It was? Ah, okay. Yeah, we got some questions. That's what it was. Well, anyway, question two is, was the butler's tool, was it a fork for A, a spade for B, or a chainsaw for C? Gotta remember and think back. Oh. Don't anybody be go telling anybody else the answers. Come on, everybody do it for yourself. Got that figured out? Oh, ladies, don't help the gentlemen. Gentlemen, don't help the ladies out. Now, is everybody ready for question three? Now, this is a tough one. Okay, here we go. Question three. Listen careful, carefully now. Hope you're watching. Which of the characters has made a deliberate mistake? That's a deliberate mistake. Whoa. Are you okay down there? You all good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, you need a minute? Oh, okay. All right. They say they're fine down there. Like maybe she was asleep. Maybe we put her to sleep. I don't know. She just woke up. Who knows? Okay, so we proceed with uh, question three. This is the hard one. Um, question three. Which of the characters has made that deliberate mistake? Was it Pawn the butler for A, B, Lady Doreen Bishop, or C, Gladys Knight? <laughs> Do you remember Gladys Knight being in there? Hmm. 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 Well, I've got, I'm sure we got some people out there that can brainstorm these tonight. I think everybody's looking like they're pretty well got it down. Hmm. Now, anyway, you need to write your name where it says name across the top, where it says name at. You can fold it up if you like, and then you can pass them down to the ends of the rows. And you're all done. Oh, yes. And Gordon, oh yes, Gordon, our, uh, our uh, stage manager there, Gordon. Uh, he is uh, going to be a busy bee, so he's going to go by, back, go around, and he's going to pick up your answers. Okay? Just take your time to think about it. Does anybody need me to go over questions again? 
Don't you? Yeah. More blasts for us. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we take a stroll in the garden for supper? All right. As we want to take the lift down to the ground floor. Aye, as we always do. Yes. Mm-hmm. Get the gate, get the gate, son. Right? Uh, get the gate. Aye. Uh, Come on, you old biddy. <laughs> Deceive me. So, oh, what a bore. I wonder what kind of a grand entrance she'll be making this evening. <laughs> oh, Doreen, dear, you're looking ravishing as always. Uh, uh, why haven't you kept in contact? I felt there was something that came between us. Well, you're damned right. You stole my Reggie for me, turned from me, and then you turned me into a raving alcoholic, and then you melted down my Tupperware. <laughs> Don't be bitter, Letitia. Oh, I warned you never to speak of my operation. You'll okay. pay. Why don't you have a lie down? No. I... I think I'll lie down. Why don't you have a drink? 
Oh, and when the reading of the will is tonight, oh, I am going to have the last laugh. <laughs> I want you to suffer, Doreen. I want you to suffer the way that you made me suffer when you ironed out my pleated skirt. Oh. Oh. Did uh, I say that part about the team, Maria? I'm not sure. I, 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 <laughs> oh, Mother, Pawn said Aunt Letitia has arrived. Is she here yet? Uh, she's having a bit of a lie down. Tell Pawn to... Well, I must speak with her. The inspector thinks she must be in grave danger. But she's asleep. Oh, Count Pawn, bring me a tea of Maria. And, oh, bring a tip. Oh, Thelma, don't pinch. That's spiteful. <laughs> oh, look, Mother. Another bishop is missing from the board. I fail to see the significance of that, Daphne. Now, be a dear. There's a dear. The solicitor will be here in just a few minutes. And, uh, and, and something about going to the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why won't anyone believe me? I know there's going to be another murder here before midnight. Look, the proof is right here on this chessboard. Uh, perhaps there are some clues as to who the killer might me. Oh, Lionel, you scared me half to death. <laughs> well, I just wanted to tell you you shouldn't be out alone tonight. Oh, to hear you say that makes me think that you really care about me. I do, and um, heaps too. In fact, you mean more than the whole world to me, Deirdre. Daphne? Oh, I feel like my head's in the clouds. I'm floating on air. I feel light as a feather. Well, why don't you come back down and uh, answer me this? You be my steady girl? Oh, yes, Lionel. Yes, 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 yes. 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 <laughs> yes. OK. Uh, yes. Thank you. Oh, this could be the passport to true happiness. I don't claim that I am psychic, but one look at you and I kick away every scruple I learned as a pupil in school, my dear. I'm not one to make predictions, but I've thrown off all restrictions and don't mind confessing I think it's a blessing that you are here. Though I'm prepared to find I'm wrong, I've got a funny feeling we belong together. I could be happy with you <laughs> if you could be happy with me I'd be contented to live anywhere what would I care as long as you are there skies may not always be blue but one thing is clear as can be Contented to live anywhere, what would I care? As long as you were there, skies may not always be blue, but one thing is clear as can be. I know.
am. Uh, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Oh yes, I am, Mr. Goodbody of Goodbody, Goodbody, and Goodbody, solicitors and commissioners of Oath. I intend to, at the strike of midnight tonight, read the last will and testament of the late. Sir Reginald Bishop. Oh, we've been expecting you, Mr. Goodbody. May I take your luggage? Well, I couldn't find it. Find you. <laughs> oh. Well, then, shall we all go down to dinner? Oh. So, shall we go to dinner? Poison! Poison! Oh, I've been poisoned! Poison! Poison! I've been poisoned. Oh. What happened? She's been poisoned. Well, I hope it's nothing serious. Yes. 
document that I have seen. However, Sir Reginald was quite specific about his wishes, which I shall now reveal unto you. I, Sir Reginald Bishop, being of sound mind and body, do hereby direct that my rambling estate and huge fortune, fortune shall be divided equally between my surviving relatives. And that in the unlikely event of everyone dying, <laughs> absolutely everything shall go to my horse-loving niece, Patricia! Patricia? Good heavens, this is astounding! This surely can't! Amazing! And, 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 it's it's this surely can't! It's astonishing! I'm no. sorry! This oh, surely no. cannot mean that, no. the, that the one that would have the most motive to kill us all is the loving, gentle Patricia, friend of the animals! Uh huh, Mr. Goodbody, can I see the will? No, the will is a secret. Uh, now that I have performed my duties, I shall bid you all a good night. Pawn, the door. Pawn, the door. What about it? Show Mr. Goodbody the door. Mr. Goodbody, would you care to see the door? 
Patricia returns. She will get the shot edge of my tongue. Horsewoman of the Year. Well, then that means Patricia's not the killer. Hmm. That's right, old hero. The beast is still in our midst. Oh, look at old Rover bounding around out there. Oh. Um, he could be trying to tell us who the killer is. Hmm. I wonder. Obedient old Rover has fetched his last pair of slippers. Oh, oh, no! Not obedient old Rover! Yes, quite suddenly. Well, thank you for the news, Pond. Uh, now, could you kindly remove... What's her name, who just died? Your... And, uh, come along back here. Your wish is my command. What should I do? I'll just leave her. <laughs> well, um, I can see it all now. Uh, what does this mean? Well, Lady Bishop, Daphne, I know who the killer is. <gasps> and I can confidently predict that within the next five minutes, he will reveal himself to you.
interesting and fun. Now, we're at this exciting uh, juncture now, and I'm going not going to prolong uh, the suspense any longer. Uh, we have now selected the winner of our murder mystery quiz. Okay? The name is on this piece of paper. But first, let's run through the answers so everybody will know how they did. Okay? So, here we go. Okay. Question number one. We used four eggs and our lemon souffle. Okay? They may do it a little bit differently on the continent, but we don't live there, do we? So, did everybody get four eggs right? Everybody? All right. Now, question number two. Now, this concerns the nature of the butler's tool. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. And uh, the correct answer for the butler's tool was a spade. Everybody know what a spade is? Remember seeing the spade on, on there? Okay. Now, question number three. It was Lady Doreen Bishop who made the deliberate mistake tonight. I'm sure no one, especially you ladies, in your right mind would try to remove tea stains with vinegar, would you? <laughs> what do you think that vinegar would do to that finish on that floor? Well, <laughs> or on anything else for that matter of fact. Now, wasn't that far too easy? And now we're going to have the moment of truth. Let me see who won this. Who is the winner? Hmm. They got A right, and the first one right, and they got the second one right, and they got the third one right, and the name is Zach Blevins? Oh, oh that was you that caused all the commotion over there. Yeah. Well, Zach, why don't you just come right on up here, Zach? Okay. Can you can hop right on. Oh up yes. Zach. <laughs> nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. You are our super sleuth for this evening. Thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. Have you enjoyed yourself? I have very much. Very good. So we have a little something for you. Um, okay. Yeah. The, the the regular store didn't. Uh, they were already closed for the evening, so we had to make a substitute for you. But I'm sure you're going to enjoy it anyway. Okay. Um, just like it is. And, um, the only thing about it is we couldn't get the exact what we needed, and the one that we have is has the rules and the directions in different languages. So I I really hope you speak different languages. I speak Spanish. You speak Spanish? Well, I'm sure Spanish is in there <laughs> somewhere. I'm not not sure what else is going to be in there. But uh, there you go. Okay. There's your prize. You want to take it out and show everybody what you won? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so he's going to learn how to play chess if he doesn't know already. And he can have his own uh, murder mystery play yeah. with his chess pieces, can't he? Yes. <laughs> He can reproduce this one. <laughs> yeah. Yes, well, uh, so there you are. Now, I want to know, um, have you figured out who's done it tonight? Now, don't tell me. Yeah. If you, you think, you've, you think you've got the answer. 100%. Yeah. So that, that's a yes. He thinks he's got the answer. So, uh, yeah, you know, you're a clever one. You're such a cutie, too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Are you in college at a university? I'll be in August, yeah. Oh, you'll be in August. My goodness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be oh, very uh, uh, fortunate in fortunes. Uh, yeah, you're going to have lots of money. I hope. Yeah, oh, good. 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 I, I'll, I will be sure and uh, look you up a little later then. <laughs> well, Thank you for coming this evening, Zach. Thank you so much.
Not seeing too much out of everybody. Oh, she did. Oh, she did. Which one did you miss? She didn't miss any. Oh, you didn't miss any out of the well. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> have one winner. Okay. Well, now I guess it's time to have uh, that climax, uh, the end that we've all been waiting for. So I hope you enjoy the ending. Thank you all very much. his cunning plot with a murderer devised his cunning plot with <laughs> who did our murderer devise his cunning plot with? Clarissa! His sister? No, Clarissa, you idiot! With Clarissa, you idiot! <laughs> who was then killed because why? Because she wanted too big a piece of the action. Oh, that's right. She wanted too big a piece of the action. And then Fifi, the French maid. Regine. Regine. Oh, sorry. Regine, the French maid. And she was his mistress, yes. Um, but she knew too much. Um, uh, who's next? The colonel. Yes, the colonel who wouldn't tell what he knew. But he told um the spinsters. Yes, he told Rose and Violet. And then they spilled the beans. And then Letitia spilled um some more beans as well. Pardon? Uh, um, uh, Oh, white. Two sugars? No. No, no, no. Who's, who's next? Oh. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, sorry, sorry. <clears throat> ah, that's uh, Mr. Goodbody. He was, he was blackmailed. Uh, oh, no. What? Oh, sorry. Gladys Knight. No, we didn't have her. We didn't have her. What? She was, we didn't have her. Uh, we didn't? No. no. <laughs> right. Right, right, right. Um, sorry. Right. Now, Mr. Goodbody, he, the, he was blackmailed into throwing us off the scent. Why, then we had, um... Sang of me, uh, just now. Only one person could have perpetrated these crimes. You mean? Uh, yes. Yes, sir. In fact, I do mean. Oh, I'm going to have to cut in there for just a minute. Uh, uh, Felicity, uh, Giles is on the phone for you. But just not. What does he want? Oh. We just got to my big bit. Oh, now you've got to come and you've got to come now. He's on the phone. Wait. It's Lucy, dear. What about her? 
oh, I don't know. He was all hysterical on the phone, yelling and carrying on. You need, you, we're going to have to see what, what's going on. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you know, it's a, a mother's uh, place to be with a child at times like this. Uh, oh, my one night off and something happens. Well, I can't help it. He says he needs you in a hurry. So. You'll never take me alive! Oh, give me that. Uh, what are you doing with that? It's not fair. It's not fair. What's not fair? I wanted to shoot myself. Some other time. You need to take the phone call now. And uh, here, uh, I've done a bit of rewriting. So if you don't mind uh, to pass those out. What? Rewriting? Yes. What? what? Pass those along. What? No, here. Uh, oh, no. no. Okay. Now, uh, oh we can put you in another play, and you can shoot yourself <laughs> the next time. This is right. the reason I agreed to play pawn. I don't care. Come on, you can play. You can shoot yourself the next time. Come on, let's go take that pawn. Wait, no. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Come on. the other day and it really got me thinking what it's like if a, you if a vampire bites oh, a zombie right. yeah does the zombie become a vampire I'm gonna does start. the vampire become a zombie really i'm gonna start okay well, i don't know only one person could have perpetrated these crimes what? um um a perpetrator you mean uh yes hmm. come out from behind that secret panel regime. oh we oui. yes moi but Regine, you're dead. No, she only, um, she was pretending to be dead. Tell us the whole story, Inspector. Um, no, why don't we let Regine tell us in her own words? Oh, really? Must we? Oh, ooh la la. <laughs> Regine is so clever. <laughs> I blackmails him on sure uh, a good body into uh, not uh, revealing the concital as he will would say if uh, everyone die I get all the money <laughs> but uh, Pawn almost ruined it for me when he pushed me out the window but uh, I hang on to the window sill and then I come and hide behind the secret panel <laughs> But why should my husband leave his money to a common serving girl? Oh, because we were having the affair. <laughs> no, no. I cannot believe it. Even though I have lost all my youth and beauty, <laughs> Reginald loved me and would never leave me for a beautiful young girl with bags of personality. And the body of a Greek goddess. <laughs> and the body of a Greek goddess. <laughs> I'm afraid you'll have to face the facts, mother. Regine may be a mass murderer, but, but, she's easily the most attractive woman in the room. Oh, oh my. God. <laughs> oh, aren't you ashamed of yourself for killing all these people? No, I am glad. Glad, glad, glad. I'm afraid you're going to have to come with me. Oh, you will never take me alive. Oh. 
Look out, she's got a GNU! <laughs> oh, gun, gun. She has a gun. It is a gun. gun. And now, I go to be with my Reggie in a far, far better place. Au revoir! Oh, I think it needs a drop of oil. The oil. Uh. Uh.